Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Mendoza. I'm providing this video for, for all of y'all that want to install the program that will operate your Disto D2. At the bottom of the video, you'll see a link to the download of the software. Additionally, there will be a link to a PDF that shows you how to uh, pair your Bluetooth and Xactimate. So this is the, here, let me close this right here. Here's the PDF, okay? So we'll go through all these instructions. Plus, you'll have a copy of it if you want to download it. So if you click on this link, it'll launch the page where you can download it, okay? So I've already got it installed, so I don't want to, you know, I don't want to uh, install over it. So what you'll do is you'll click on this download. You'll see a dialog box. Once that dialog box turn, you know, once it stops blinking and you see a different icon, you might see something that says verified. Then you click on it. And if your machine is well protected like mine, you'll start getting a bunch of different pop-ups. It's just making sure that you're not, uh, that you're going to install something you want. So you would click on more info. You would click run anyway. Whatever you do, do not hit run down here. Uh, don't run. Click OK when you see the install. Uh, if you select the right language, you hit next. You'll see the license agreement. You hit agree. Uh, where you're going to install it, you're going to uh, click install. You'll see a progress. You'll click finish. And if sometimes this window will come up, or you might have to close two windows, but there will be a window in the background, and then it looks just like this. You'll hit OK. Now, once you've installed it, you're going to have to go into Bluetooth. You're going to have to add a device. Now, on mine, I already have it so we don't have to install it or pair it. But this is what it's going to look like when you're pairing that device. You're going to go in to Bluetooth. You're going to click on Add Bluetooth or Other Devices. You'll click on Bluetooth. You'll select the uh, Disto 1181334 and it'll tell you your device is ready to go. So once you do that, then you know you'll launch the, the device. Okay. So if you have already created uh, the link to the Bluetooth, if you select this thing here, you it'll change. When you click, you know you select it, and then you see how it changes. Once you've done that, you can go to Xactimate. The first thing you want to do is go to your preferences, go to Sketch, and each profile you like, for instance, you know, Crawford, Farmers, all of them. You'll want to go to the profile and enable your Disto. Once you enable your Disto, then uh, when you open up one of your claims I said that you wanted the machine to automatically measure for a wall you would click on it and it'll automatically change it all I'm doing is clicking on my disto clicking on a wall and it changes it uh, so now if you do go in and you need to uh, change your settings you have to be careful because like here you can change it to meters or you know yards but if you have to go to setup and you go to your settings and change let's say anything in here to get back to that other part of the device which you have to have on 
in order for it to work in an Xactimate, you need to minimize your window here and then it'll take you back to this uh, part of the software that you need to have on okay again everything is on this PDF the instructions uh, now there are some operating systems that might look a little bit different uh, one of my systems is system 7 one of them is system 11 if you see this dialog box when you start the installation all you have to do is hit consent and at that point if you're on this operating system you're going to see the dialog box on the right hand side then uh, you see right here it says more see more you have to click there so you can see what's going on because like mine is very very protected so it wouldn't allow it to install it gave me a caution I told it to keep okay then another dialog box came up I told it show more and then it gave me the reason why I thought it was a bad program I told it keep anyway then you see these two are the same program on this one I did the the instructions what I just showed you a while ago on this one I didn't this one still has the caution but this one has the uh, icon for installation icon you're gonna double click on it and you're gonna see this dialog box if for some reason yours says that uh, it cannot be in the Microsoft Visual C cannot be installed because you don't have it in there then all you have to do is go to my PDF click on this uh, link and it's gonna take you right to Microsoft and then you're gonna be able to install it right there so that's all there is to it thank you for watching my video if you like it give me a thumbs up hopefully you'll become one of my subscribers I teach Word Excel uh, as you have to made simplicity bunch of other little programs again thank you for watching my video